This is a video request by someone who commented on my video. So I'm going to really quickly go over how you solve this question. It says that we have three identical bulbs which are connected. When the switch S is closed, the power consumed in bulb 2 is P. And the power consumed by the same bulb when the switch is open is what we're trying to find here. What I'm going to do first is I'll sketch out the diagram um, as actual electrical components. Since these bulbs are identical, they're all going to have the same resistance. Um, I'm just going to call that resistance small r. What I want to figure out first is the EMF or voltage of the cell. In order to do this, I need to use the potential divider equation. But before we do that, we have to work out uh, the, res the total resistance of the parallel circuit. The total resistance of the parallel circuit, I'll call it capital R. So 1 over R is equal to 1 over small r, the individual resistance, plus 1 over small r. This means their total resistance is small r over 2. Now I'm able to plug this into the potential divider equation. By using the potential divider equation, I can work out the voltage or the potential difference across bulb 2. The potential divider equation is V out is equal to Vn times by R1 over R1 plus R2. If you've forgotten how to use this equation, do check out my other video on potential dividers. So Vn in this case is the EMF or the voltage of the battery. I'm going to call it V. Um, so that's equal to V times by R1, which is the resistance of the parallel circuit. That is R divided by 2. So all of this divided by R over 2 plus small r. So R2 in this case is just the resistance of this bulb here. This reduces down to 1 divided by 3. So I know that's V across the second bulb, V2, is equal to a third of the EMF. And let's just say that it is V over 3. But the question wants me to find power. So what I need to do is relate power to voltage. Generally speaking, we know that uh, power is V squared over R. So applying this equation to this situation, we have power across the second bulb. Uh, that is equal to V over 3, all squared, divided by the resistance across that bulb, which is small r. So that is going to reduce to V squared over 9 times R. The question tells me that when the switch is closed, which is our situation here, um, the power across P2 is just equal to P. So I'm going to say that this is equal to P. This expression is very important for us because it relates power to the voltage or EMF of the cell, which doesn't change. It's a constant. And you'll see in a moment how that is useful for us. Let's take these and put them just on the side. What we need to do next is to look at the situation when the switch S is open. That is a lot simpler compared to when, when switch S is closed because there isn't any currents going through bulb 3. So we can simplify the circuit and say that right we have one bulb here and bulb 2 in series with bulb 1. And individually, again, they have small r for the resistance. The EMF of the cell is still V, and to work out the bulb's individual voltage, all we need to think of is Kirchhoff's law. We know that within this loop here, the voltage drop across the two components, they must equal the voltage supplied, which is V. And since they have the same resistance, we can say that they share V equally. So the voltage across bulb number 2 is just the EMF, V, divided by 2. We are going to use the power equation again. The power across bulb number 2 is equal to the voltage across this bulb divided by its resistance. So that would be V over 2 all squared divided by a small r. So simplifying this, that is going to give us v squared over r times by 1 over 4. So simplifying this, we have p2 is equal to a fourth times by 
uh, v squared over r. So that is the second expression that we need. I need to now express p2 in terms of p, which is what we found earlier. So now I need to divide p2 by p, just so that I have a ratio. So that becomes 1 over 4 v squared over r, all of this divided by v squared over 9r. That is the same as saying v squared over 4r times by 9r over v squared. This cancels out. This cancels out. So that is going to be equal to 9 over 4. So you can say that's the ratio of p2 to p is equal to 9 over 4. What I can also do is bring p to the right hand side of the equation and say that p2 is equal to 9 over 4 times p. And so our answer is 9p over 4. And let's see if that's one of the answers in the question. My thanks to the physics students who commented on my video with this question. Um, I had a lot of fun explaining this. And if you guys have any other questions about your physics homework, or if you're stuck on a question or some theory, please feel free to drop me a comment and I'll try my best to answer them. And good luck studying for your physics exams.